Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to change the order of integration and going to evaluate it. So in this problem, the order of the integration given is first with respect to x, then with respect to y. We are going to take a diagram. Before that, let's rewrite this integral 0 to a and this is the limit of y. So y equal to 0 and y equal to a and another one is limit of x, x equal to a minus root of a square minus y square and x equal to a plus root of a square minus y square. We have x, y, dx, dy. Let's take the limit of x. So lower limit x is equal to a minus root of a square minus y square. We have to take this a to the other side. So we get x minus a equal to minus root of a square minus y square and squaring on both the sides we get x minus a whole square equal to this negative will go off root also will go off so a square minus y square and taking y square to the other side we get x minus a whole square plus y square equal to a square and from this we know it is the equation of circle with center a comma 0 and radius is a so we know center and radius in the same way let's work out the upper limit that is x is equal to a plus root of a square minus y square by taking a to this side x minus a equal to root of a square minus y square squaring on both the sides we get x minus a whole square equal to a square minus y square and taking y square to this side we get x minus a whole square plus y square equal to a square once again we get the same equation the center is a comma 0 and radius is a units now we are going to draw the diagram so we are going to take x axis y axis and center is a comma 0 so let's take a point a here and this is a comma 0 and uh, this is the origin 0 comma 0 and center is a comma 0 and radius is a so our circle will be like this so it will correctly touch the origin and this is a comma 0 and at the end already this is a unit a unit so this will be 2 a comma 0 now the limit of x we have minus a root of a square minus y square to a plus root of a square minus y square so limit of x means it starts from left to right so let's take the horizontal strip like this and from here the value of lower limit x equal to a minus root of a square minus y square and from this x is equal to a plus root of a square minus y square. Now the limit of y we see 0 to a. So we have to take a vertical strip 0 to a. So it will be like this. So it starts from 0, y equal to 0 and y equal to a. y equal to a is a horizontal line passing through the point at y is the value a so this is y equal to a line y equal to 0 is the x axis itself so we got this so now the area under consideration is this now we are going to change the order so already in the given question it is first x then y now we are going to write first y then x so let's write the double integral and the term is xy then I have to write dy first then dx let's write the limit of y so limit of y if we see it starts from 0 and it end on the circle and at this point the equation of y from the circle is we have the circle equation so we can take from this so y equal to a square 
minus x minus a whole square within the root. So the limit is from 0 to root of a square minus x minus a whole square. And now we have to see the horizontal. Horizontal starts from 0. This is a point where the left extreme and this is the right extreme. So 0 to 2a. So this limit of x is 0 to 2a. Now we are going to integrate this. First we change the order. Now the first integration is with respect to y. It means x is a constant. So we keep x as it is. And integration of y is y square by 2. And the limit is from 0 to root of a square minus x minus a whole square. Then we have integral 0 to 2a dx. Let's substitute the upper limit. It is y square. So square and square root will go off. So we left with only this much divided by 2. And minus lower limit. Minus when I substitute the lower limit it will be 0. Now totally we have integral 0 to 2a and the whole term into dx. Now we have this x, this half I can take outside and let's expand this. This a square as it is, this expansion is a minus b whole square but there is a minus sign outside. So a square but minus sign, minus 2ab but it will become plus 2ax term. Again plus a square since there is outside minus it will become minus a square bracket close integral 0 to 2a dx. Now we can cancel a square minus a square. Let's multiply this x inside. We get half integral 0 to 2a x cube plus 2a x square dx. The first term is minus. Now coming to integration of this minus x power 4 by 4 and 2a is constant x cube by 3 and our limit is from 0 to 2a and there is a half outside. So this becomes half when it is absolute 2a it is 2a power 4 by 4 plus 2a into 2a cube by 3. And I put lower limit everything is 0. So now this will become 2 power 4 16 and a power 4 by 4. Here 2 cube is 8, 8 to are 16. Then a power 4 by 3. Now we can cancel this 4 and minus 16 become minus. We are going to take LCM. LCM is 3. This is minus 12 a power 4 plus 16 a power 4. After subtraction, we get 4 a power 4 by 3. After cancelling this, we left with 2 a power 4 by 3.